and we're live. They don't care about it. Like I hear people always like, like, oh, oh I, I can't eat Taco Bell anymore. I just just goes right through. First of all, you got a digestive problem if you can't handle Taco Bell. If it's going to ruin your life, like like you've got bigger That's problems true. than your than your food decisions. Like there's something wrong inside of you. You should know because there's nothing that I can eat that will give me crippling diarrhea. I don't uh, know. No, you know what? Uh, White Castle does a number on you. How many White Castles do you have to eat before you have an actual gastrointestinal emergency, though? I mean, usually if I'm eating White Castle, it's a minimum of like 15. Okay. Well, I think we just put our finger on the problem, Taylor. <laughs> You're eating 15 burgers that are covered with, and I know you know this, not onions, but cabbage. That's true. Cabbage. It's cabbage flavored onion or onion flavored cabbage. Correct. But in addition to those 15 burgers, I offset it by drinking like 40 ounces of Diet Pepsi and I mean, that's cheese fries. Now that you mention it, like the last time I really did have like, like, so like, like, like intestinal cramps and it was painful and it was a problem. White it Castle. was White Castle. White and Castle I remember it problem. so well because it was like, I've hurt myself with White Castle. <laughs> like I was in a, I, w I went up to Tennessee to visit this girl. She was like, she was there on a work trip and she had this nice suite and in, in some hotel and, uh, and she had weed. And, uh, and, and I was like, yeah, let's, let's go downstairs. Let's go get some fucking great food. Like let's some sort of fast food. White castle. Let's go get some fast food and then let's get stone in your car. Ooh. Let's, let's come up here, eat the food. Fuck. And it's going to be the best night ever. Right. And so we go to White Guaranteed Castle. Guaranteed you didn't fuck that night. <laughs> oh, oh, we did. Because the, you know, the White Castle doesn't you kick in. You had the for energy it. after White Castle? Oh, oh, absolutely. Especially with the weed. didn't have 15 of them. Yeah. Oh, I don't remember how many I had, but it was more than 15. Because when you go to White Castle or it's Crystal, which is the southern alternative, which is more likely what we had, mm -hmm. it's like, it's all right, you can get eight for like $12. You can get like eight burgers for like $5. I'm making numbers up. Or you can get a dozen for $7. <laughs> Or you can get the the White Castle Crave Case, ra, ra, the Crave Case, Knights baby. of the Round Table bag yeah. that has fucking thirty eight burgers in it and fourteen orders of fries, and you can mix and match them, and you can get some chicken chicken burgers too, and it's only Good. thirty seven cents. That's right, it's almost we're giving them away. And it's like, well, shit, I got I'm losing money if I don't get forty burgers <laughs> exactly. right now. So I just remember I ate an ungodly amount of those burgers and I I can remember how painful the cramps were. I had actual like cramping from like eating those fucking burgers and never again have I eaten more than like six at a time. You you can, you should not eat more than five at a time, but even five White Castle burgers or Crystal, like you're saying, Crystal and White Castle, it's the exact same, same thing. Uh, five of those doesn't even equal... I would say five is like one quarter pounder from McDonald's worth of like yeah, legit yeah. meat and food. And like I've said this many times, and anyone who's eaten White Castle knows this, that the the shit after you eat White Castle, it doesn't smell like shit White Castle. It mm -hmm. smells like you're back inside <laughs> White Castle. It does. It's like you – I. I like you, you're like laying in bed, and of course I'm like laying on my side with like my knees tucked up. If I had a bunch of white cast, yep. to get all the gas out, and like you'll rip ass, and it's like it's it smells like I'm, I'm hungry, hungry again. Chicken rings, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And those are in like, but there's something off putting about a fart that smells exactly like the establishment that where you ate the food that created the fart. And so like, I've also noticed that if you're in the shower after eating a bunch of white castle and you fart. Somehow that the speed of that fart, that fart, that asshole to nose transition, that speed, it's even faster than a normal fart. Like usually so, it's almost instantaneous with White Castle. You can smell it before you've even made the decision to fart. So if you ever want to make your own White Castle, uh, I made this recipe. Um, That's I absurd. Know. I have illegal immigrants to do it for me. At the I made this this recipe when it came out back March 25th, 2019. It's incredible. So this is Sam, the cooking guy, one of my favorite cooking YouTubers. And he like, I don't, I don't remember exactly how you do it, but I remember you like press out this like rectangle of beef into a very thin patty and you pre-score it so that you can break them into chunks mm -hmm. and you poke the holes in it, just like the burgers have for the steam to go through. And then you freeze that in the freezer 
so that it's solid. And then you put this frozen burger patty on top of the onions. And I think he might use jalapenos in this video. Mm. And the onions and jalapeno steam comes Ooh. through the holes in the burgers uh, and cooks them. And then you're able to like tear them off into individual burgers and you put them on Hawaiian rolls. They're incredible. They're super fucking good. It sounds better than White Castle burgers because it, it probably is has, better than White it Castle has burgers. Probably actually good ingredients. Yeah, because you're making it yourself. Because so, so you're not using cabbage. You're using onions and jalapenos. Yeah, when you look at a White Castle burger, like you know where the burger itself is, like you can hold a quarter up to it, and it's like barely bigger than a quarter. The grease soak lines into both buns are way thicker than the burger itself. Yeah, I actually way. like the little hot dogs they have at those places and the chicken. Sandwiches. I've never had their hot dogs. They're good. They're good. I'm watching I this video, by the time, way. I'm so watching good. this video, too. I, I love shit like this. Uh, Why, I love it. You'll love this guy's channel. Like, like everything he... I, I like him a lot. Um, He's got, like, the... Like, he, uh, he he cooks some really great recipes. Like, 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 if you're wanting to, like, do, like, some sort of a cheat meal or something like that, like, he's the one who makes, like... He's, like, an epic meal time who's, like, a gourmet chef. Oh. So, like, it's not just absurd amounts of bacon. No offense, Harley. <laughs> um, it, it's, it's like, here's a professional chef, chef making an epic meal for one. And, uh, and, and so he'll make, he'll make like filet mignon burritos. And it's like, oh my God, you and made I burritos. Love for I love this little outdoor kitchen. I was the about backdrop. to say. It's very aesthetically pleasing. It's got a calm aura to it. I like that. Yep. And, uh, and, and just like Harley, he's Jewish and Jewish people do everything better. So his his whole like that 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 of uh, that uh like stovetop thing he has is very expensive. Uh -huh. I looked it up once. It's like eight or ten thousand dollars or something. Really, ten thousand dollars? I don't. Oh, remember are exactly you talking about the the actual stove itself, not the uh, that, I was that like say. that yeah. top thing, the, the like, circular it, thing to his right? Yeah, the circular thing to his right. Yeah, those are super expensive. His dynamic Jeez. range sucks in this video. I like how he's just rolling. He's improved. This is twenty nineteen. He, he's like he, he's a huge channel. He's 2.7 so, mil. He, he's making this whole thing. He's not even going to take apart the beef or the the bread, the buns. He's just going to make it all as one thing. He, he'll tear them apart at, once it's cooked. That's that's very smart. So he's allowing the steam from the onions and the peppers to go through the burger patties into the buns. And so he's steaming the buns, melting the cheese and uh, and everything while the burgers cook. And when it's done, I, like I cooked this and, um, for, for me and a girlfriend and it, we were blown away by how fucking turned it turned out really well. I bought us like a special like stovetop cast iron skillet thing. It's like a big giant square cast iron griddle to like do this on that goes on top of like I've got a gas stove. So you just put it on top of the eyes and yeah. turn them both on, heat them up. It's amazing. Everything he cooks just about. You're like, oh, yeah. my God, that looks incredible. I want to take it back though. He's in, he has enough pros to outweigh that con. I'm not wrong. His dynamic range is bad, but what does that good mean? Good production yeah. value. Uh, it, the bright spots are all blown out. Like if you look at any scene where behind him there's like sun, you can't. His son see Max all. does all that. Um, yeah. and and he's like this. He's a professional, but he's gotten better. Like like and, and their relationship is really funny because he'll give his son a hard time if he's not getting the shot right. And his hmm. and, and and the I son will give the dad a hard time if like he's not presenting well, like he, he's just like, well we can't see anything now. You, you, yeah, your arms in the way. Do it left handed. He's like, all right, I'll chop the meat left handed. Let's see how that goes for us. <laughs> and, <laughs> no, I, I like <laughs> dynamics like that. That's that is my favorite. Juji's channel is I think is improved with that now that his wife yeah. runs the camera. There's a guy called um, it might be Jenny's Garage. He like fixes small motors and stuff. And uh, he does this thing. <laughs> he always pretends he doesn't know who his wife is, who's filming him. So he refers to her as camera girl. <laughs> and he's always <laughs> like, you know, the camera girl's getting this wrong or that wrong. And <laughs> it's pretty hilarious. So, yeah, yeah. this guy's great for cooking stuff. Um, so is uh, Chef John from foodwishes.com with he's got this cool cadence that he does everything with. And he's got a million fucking recipes. It's um. Uh, I think it's just called Food Wish Wishes is his YouTube channel. Um, he's he might be my favorite, and then um, the other one is uh, I'm drawing a blank. Fuck, fuck. Cooking with Babish or whatever it's called. Binging, Binging with, with Babish. Bab That's it. 
Oh, that, oh you're Babbage thinking of Binging with Babish? He's yeah, that, that, he's that's really what I was saying. Yeah, I've never watched the channel, but I know you like him. I, I, I learned a uh, garlic bread recipe from him that he did from Scott Pilgrim versus the World. Yep. Uh, that he like emulated Scott Pilgrim's. Well, eh, emulated because he just Look, put it in the I know a thing or two about product integration and how much those pay. Yeah. Binging with Babish is making so much goddamn Loads. money. I think, I think if I had to guess, I would say 10 million a year. I, he is making so Good for much him, goddamn that's money. Awesome. Like, like that's just my guess. Just like based on watching his videos be, and seeing how often that there is product integration. Like, how big is his channel? Um, I don't know, f- several million. But, but it's it's just it's the targeted demographic and eight point seven million. Wow. And, and how like to the forefront the products will be. Like, like he did one. He'll do like one for the national pork review or some shit. And it's like, yeah, we're just cooking with pork this episode sponsored by the national port review or it'll be like butcher box or it'll be bounty paper towels and he'll find excuses to put to say bounty the quicker picker, thinker, up. picker upper and yeah. put it right in the shot and like be like yeah thank whoops i spilled stuff everywhere thank goodness i've got my bounty <laughs> quicker thicker and he'll like go through a whole thing and i'm watching and i'm like yeah i don't mind I don't mind that you're selling yeah. paper towels to me because I, I I'm liking this recipe. Like Dude, it's he, fine. He, he got so much money dropped on him by Bounty for that. Uh, that's what I was thinking. Like like that one in particular. That's such a massive brand. Isn't and Bounty it, a J and J company or a P and G company? It's huge. It's one of the main ones. Like like they're owned by like one of those giant conglomerates. That's like a third of consumer goods. Period. Yeah, it's, it's fucking. It's like Procter and Gamble, where it's like, oh, is that one of the brands you like at the store? Well, there's it a thirty percent chance it's Procter and Gamble. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's like yeah, you not... like Arm and Hammer too. It, they, they 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 own everything. Um, he he so did like, uh he just did one with uh SpongeBob SquarePants. Like, I don't think so. He won't get paid for stuff like that. For like, I'm I, almost certain he got paid for this one because. Yeah, but, but it's not like yeah. there's any news. What was, the, what was the scenario for it? Was he? Uh, like, he's making the Krabby Supreme from SpongeBob SquarePants. Uh, this was in 2019. The only reason why I say that he did is because I did a I, I did a uh, a conference for Kellogg's, and they talked about their integrated brand stuff for SpongeBob. Mm. And uh, yeah, they're very they're very clever with how they incorporate yeah. things into spot or like incorporate SpongeBob into daily life. Like they were touting. The fact that SpongeBob SquarePants was like the most memed piece of content. Like, I think the number was something absurd. It was like every second, like 200 SpongeBob GIFs are shared across Instagram, Twitter, Reddit, like that. Like they, 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 they track it all. I don't know. God knows. I don't know how, but they were going through the numbers. And I'm like, bro, th- these people are. Yeah, the only reason I didn't think it was would be branded at all is because I didn't realize that Kellogg owned SpongeBob and was using it for products. I, I was on. I guess there's like SpongeBob fucking Pop Tarts or some shit that I don't know about. Yeah, yeah, they they have like they have oh, the SpongeBob yeah. relationship. So Understood. like okay. they were talking about how SpongeBob is so integrated in media, and then it was just like this real crazy conversation yeah. that they had so it wasn't necessarily like kellogg's own spongebob it was like kellogg's has the distribution of food like products the for same SpongeBob. way that like it's like the like, same way that like uh like I, I do have some background in consumer products so i like so you know crest colgate oral spider-man B, spider-man yeah stuff like that they'll, they'll purchase the rights to spongebob spider-man superman whoever and have their you know, oh, we have a Superman, we have a SpongeBob toothbrush. And so even though like the show's not that big anymore, the IP for it is insanely valuable. Yeah. 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 Uh, again, though, he might not have gotten paid. Yeah, for that. yeah, probably but, not. But, but the ones but... where he's clearly getting paid for is like, like, he'll tell you, like, this episode's been, being brought to you by the National Pork Review. Like, like, like the other, other white meat, it, it, pork, it's what's for dinner or whatever the fuck he says. And then he'll cook like all these pork stuff. And by the end of it, I'm like, God damn, I want some pork tenderloin. <laughs> I want some pork tenderloin. I didn't know you could take a whole pork tenderloin and roll it up with prosciutto in the middle and fucking like bake the whole goddamn thing. That, that looks know, incredible. Man. Oh my God. You gotta, he yeah. makes incredible stuff. Like like he does such high, like for 420, he made this space cake from some movie. I mean, uh, I'm pretty sure he was putting weed frosting and, and weed butter in it. Um, because New York just legalized marijuana. Hmm. Oh, and, man. uh, 
It looked really fucking cool. Yeah, I'm watching it right now. I'm, I'm watching it right now. I, I, I'm skip to the end just to like look at how beautiful the cake is.